There is plenty more to be learned about Susan Rice's behavior, about all of this, but Democrats are already declaring her totally exonerated. Today, Congressman Adam Schiff of California said this. Well, you know, it certainly is a theory uh, in search of a, a villain, and for whatever reason, the, uh, the hard right has always chosen Susan Rice to be their villain. But is it really that simple? As American citizens, you'd think we would have the right to know if our government is spying on us and to what extent they might be spying on us. You would also assume we have the right to be skeptical when a political appointee with a long track record of lying in public admits to spying on her political enemies and then claims there was no political intent. At the very least, you might want to know more about that, wouldn't you? But you don't have that right, says Congressman Schiff. Be quiet. Stop talking. Anyone who asks questions must be a tool of Donald Trump, or more likely, of the Kremlin itself. A disloyal American, in other words, working for the benefit of a hostile foreign power. A traitor. When did this happen? The left used to care about civil liberties, a lot more than Republicans did in a lot of cases, but that was 50 years ago. Now that progressives control America's most powerful institutions, questioning the establishment is a threat to their authority. The civil liberties of individual Americans have become an unwelcome limitation on their power. So they ignore them. Liberals have become the man, and the rest of us can just shut up and obey.